I hope you love your completed character expression test as much as I do. We are now going to kind of share it with the world. So right before that, we're going to kind of go over how to present a play blast with some Maya lights and play around with some settings. So just to note that some rigs look better with my lights, some rigs don't look better with my, my lights. So it's just something to keep in mind when playing around with the settings. You don't have to use my lights. It's just kind of a recommendation. So yeah, let's get started. Presentation is everything, right? So some people are kind of sick of seeing just a regular play blast, you know, so maybe we can add a little pizzazz to it. So what we can do is first go to create polygon primitives plane, and then go to our perspective view and just scale it up, rotate it, let's say 90 degrees. And then rotations on these. Scoot it back so it's behind our character. And then assign a surface shader to it and make it any color you want. So let's make it purple. Not so saturated purple. And then I assigned it a surface shader because when we make lights, so if we go to create lights, create an ambient light, and then we create a directional light. Directional light can come up to the side here and scale it. And we can see which direction it's gonna face. This is basically your sun. So if you press seven now, that's how you see your lights. It's a little bit lighter and it has more three dimensional and it feels a little bit more graphic. And we can lessen the ambient light if we want just a little bit. We can give it a color. So let's say an orangish color. Not too much, just a little bit. And then let's give it maybe a bluish this side. Actually, you know what? Let's do orange for this one. And then blue for the ambient light. So we have our warm and cool colors. And now we can play blast this and it'll look nice. So there are a few things you have to watch out for here. So the teeth and the eyes are super white. Don't really want that. So let's go to those that geometry. We can go to material attributes. That's a right click. We can bring down the color just a little bit. You just don't want it to be so distracting. Yeah, even that's fine. And even the eyes feel like they're shining really bright. Bring those down a little bit. Maybe we can just saturate the skin. Just a bit more dark in it. And this way, so it has a little more dimensionality. So what we can do is even just affect this purple, make it stand out a little bit more from the character. And go in and saturate the skin even more.
I'm just experimenting. So if I toggle back six, seven, I can kind of see which looks better. Honestly, for this particular rig, I think six looks better. I think no lights looks better, but I like the background. But seven has helped me a lot for a lot of rigs. So let's just go with seven for now. And this is kind of what comes out. Congrats, we have completed our course. You have made a character expression test from scratch, by the way, um, and that is amazing. This is kind of the end of the course, but not the end of our time together, so make sure you check out the final project video.